without a doubt, you want to format your SD cards properly prior to shooting your videos and not doing so, like deleting them off your computer or deleting them one by one on your camera could run the risk of the corruption of files, uh, you know, the loss of space while you're shooting. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly format your SD card and I'll share three workflow tips to help you with SD card management. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tukoy with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do tech gear reviews, other times we do tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, I've been doing video for well over 15 years. It's crazy to think that it's been that long, but with that came the experience of, you know, formatting cards that shouldn't have been formatted, you know, uh, having to tell a client that the card is corrupted and I don't know how, I don't know how to get the footage back um, and many other instances like that. And because of all that experience, I've been able to come up with a workflow or process that will allow me to know and confidently format cards, knowing that I'm not gonna make a mistake. But before I get into the three tips, do you have a SD card scare? Whether that was you ran out of space when you shouldn't have, like you were shooting something important, or did you experience file corruption yourself? Let me know in the comment section below to share in the pain. But before I get into those three tips, real quick, I'm gonna show you how to properly format your card using you know, a Canon camera, but many cameras operate the same way. So let me show you how to do that right now. So I'll be using an M50 to demonstrate this, but I'm just gonna hop into my menu. And then under the tool icon, you can see that there is format card. Every device usually will prompt you and ask you, are you sure you want to format this card? Take a second, think about it, and format the card if you're ready to do so. Now, a way you can actually expedite this process is add that option onto your custom menu. I do this on our Sony's and our Canon's. I just add format card to the custom menu so I don't have to dig through the menus to find it. But this can be done on any device. So whether you're using it on a drone or using a zoom recorder of sorts, you can format your card with the device that's using the card. Now that you know how to properly format your SD card, uh, no longer should you delete your files off your computer or delete your video files one by one. It's just not a good habit to get into. But my first workflow tip is to just start with a fresh card from the beginning. I think uh, when you get into batch producing your content or even just filming content, or maybe you're even producing client work, you don't wanna start a job or start your shoot day with a card that has been used already. You wanna start with a fresh card formatted right before you shoot because you can run the risk of being in a flow or maybe shooting something important and then your card fills up. This happened at a wedding I re recently shot. The video guy, while we were out shooting our, and I don't mean to point the finger to the video guy, but uh, we were doing like a, you know, a special creative session with the couple, and he ran out of space on his card, and he didn't have an extra card on hand, but he also didn't format his card prior to the day shooting. I'm not saying he made a mistake. I'm just saying he could have prevented from that happening and having to you know, halt his work and or go through and delete files that maybe you don't wanna delete during this time, right? But all that to say, I don't like getting to a work, a flow of shooting and, and then my card space runs out and it goes to show that I didn't format it prior to starting. So tip number one, format your card when you start shooting. The second workflow tip is to drop your footage and or photos ASAP. I think it's really important that when you finish the job or when you get done shooting, don't let the camera sit or don't put it in a bag and let it sit overnight or a couple days and I'll get to it when I get to it but drop your footage as soon as you can onto your computer and or laptop or on your hard drive or what have you. I think the biggest reason to drop your footage into your computer or laptop or hard drive ASAP is really just for certainty. You know, if I stopped filming something and a couple of days went by, so many things happen and you know, being human, I could be forgetful and maybe a job comes up and I grab my camera and I forgot to drop that footage and it's the card that's in the camera, I don't have my extra cards, uh, that could be an issue but knowing that I dropped it right after I shot, I have the certainty to know that I, I can format this card, right? And until I actually use this SD card again, I actually have created a duplicate of the files. And so that's just a smart way to work, to always have backups on your backups and so that you don't get bit in the uh, when it comes time to fulfill a project or uh, your videos. Because I've had so many scary experiences having to tell clients like, I'm sorry that card uh, got corrupted or I lost the files, I don't know where they're at. Um, I have learned that um, the sooner I drop footage, the more likely I'm able to refer that or not lose it, right? And so even when I'm shooting a wedding, when there's downtime, like a transitional time from ceremony to reception and there's an hour, 
I will actually take the card out and start dropping it on my laptop and put a fresh card into my camera. So now the rest of the day won't get you know compromised, but I'm also creating duplicates while I'm shooting that wedding. But that's just something to think about. Even if you're shooting YouTube videos, as soon as you finish your shoot day, just drop that footage and uh, you'll be good to go. Now I got one more tip, but if you're getting value in this video, can you hit the like button for me? Thank you so much. And one way I've actually created the confidence to hit that format right when I started is by using an SD card case. And that's actually not just having my SD cards lie around everywhere, but using a case. And actually we love this Pelican case, a very inexpensive and durable case that holds all my SD cards. And the life hack that I actually use this case with is if I don't have my laptop around me to be able to drop my footage right away, I actually put my card in backwards so I know that I still need to either drop this footage and or to not use that card until I know that I know that the footage is gone. And the way that I know that I know is by putting the card upright and that tells me that I'm ready to go and I can format that card with confidence uh, knowing that I won't mess that up. Another thing you can do is name or number your cards so you know what you see and what you use and know how to tell the difference between the two because a lot of people do buy cards in packs. And so uh, making sure that they're distinguishable is super smart. But nonetheless, I really do love having this because you know if I do a job and you know there's multiple cards and I didn't bring my laptop and maybe we're gonna go eat somewhere, I actually take all the cards out of cameras and I'll stick it in here and I'll put this in my pocket because more valuable than all the cameras and the gear I have at that moment is actually the stuff I just shot because having to recreate and you know get everybody back would be a nightmare and so uh, think of your cards that important, that it could potentially be more important than all the gear you have because uh, that's what's creating the value, right? Is not necessarily your gear, but what you're doing with the gear. You don't wanna lose or you know corrupt the stuff that you just shot. And so I hope you found these tips super helpful. And if you wanna check out our playlist on camera basics, uh, you'll learn a lot in regards to camera settings all the way to workflow and things like that. It'll help you with your audio, your lighting, everything. Check out that playlist by clicking or tapping the screen and I cannot wait to see you in a future video. Peace.